Well, NATO allies are providing and have provided uh, uh, a lot of different types of uh, uh, support to Ukraine. Some of this is channeled to the, uh, to the NATO framework, some are provided bilaterally. Uh, and uh, for us, it is important that we provide uh, 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 support on short notice and that we provide critical support which uh, Ukraine uh, needs. Uh, so, uh, overall, I think the message is that uh, over many years, leading up to invasion, but also after invasion, uh, allies have been very quick in stepping up and providing uh, support. Uh, and again, I'm a bit reluctant to go into all the details about exactly how and where and when. But uh, the overall picture is uh, that allies are providing uh, significant support uh, and they have done so on short notice and that's different types of weapons but also that includes uh, uh, fuel. Um, uh, uh, then, uh, well, NATO allies uh, have uh, consulted and coordinated closely uh, over several weeks, uh, both uh, in the lead up to the invasion, uh, but also after the invasion, we had a virtual summit uh, just one day after, uh, and we had have different ministerial meetings, also extraordinary ministerial meetings, and we will have an extraordinary defense ministerial meeting to, tomorrow. Uh, then we will, we are able to convene uh, also uh, a NATO summit with all the NATO leaders on short notice, but I cannot go into more details about that now.